In the early 1930s, Swiss astronomer Fritz Vicky observed galaxies in clusters moving faster than their mass should allow, prompting him to infer the presence of some invisible scaffolding, dark matter, holding the galaxies together. Nearly a century later, NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope may have found direct evidence of dark matter, allowing the invisible matter to be, as it were, seen for the first time. Dark matter has remained largely a mystery since it was first proposed. Up to this point, scientists have only been able to indirectly observe it through its effects on observable matter, for example through its ability to generate enough gravitational force to hold galaxies together. The reason dark matter can't be observed directly is because the particles of which it's made don't interact via the electromagnetic force, meaning dark matter doesn't absorb, reflect or emit light. Many researchers hypothesize that dark matter is made up of something called weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs, which are heavier than protons but interact very little with other matter. Despite this lack of interaction, when two WIMPs collide, it's predicted that the two particles will annihilate each other and release other particles, including gamma-ray photons. Researchers have targeted regions where dark matter is concentrated, such as the centre of the Milky Way, through observations for years in search of these specific gamma rays. Using the latest data from the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, Tominori Tatani from the Department of Astronomy at the University of Tokyo believes he's finally detected the specific gamma rays predicted by the annihilation of dark matter particles. He and his team detected gamma rays with a photon energy of 20 billion electron volts, an extremely large amount of energy, extending in a halo-like structure toward the centre of the Milky Way galaxy. The gamma ray emission component closely matches the shape expected from the dark matter halo. The observed energy spectrum matches the emission predicted from the annihilation of hypothetical WIMPs, with a mass approximately 500 times that of a proton. The frequency of WIMP annihilation estimated from the measured gamma ray intensity also falls within the range of theoretical predictions. Importantly, these gamma ray measurements aren't easily explained by other more conventional astronomical phenomena or gamma ray emission, so they represent a strong indication of gamma ray emission from dark matter. If this is correct, this would mark the first time humanity has effectively seen dark matter, and it turns out that dark matter is a new particle not included in the current standard model of particle physics. Of course, the results must be verified through independent analysis by other researchers. Even with this confirmation, scientists will want additional proof that the halo-like radiation is indeed the result of dark matter annihilation, rather than originating from some other astronomical phenomena. Additional proof of WIMP collisions in other locations that harbour a high concentration of dark matter would bolster these initial results. Detecting the same energy gamma ray emissions from dwarf galaxies within the Milky Way halo, for example, would support the new finding. This may be achieved once more data is accumulated, and if so, it would provide even stronger evidence that the gamma rays originate from dark matter.